Does Israel have a constitution? This question is more complicated than it appears. Answering this question requires us to go back to the early days of the establishment of the State of Israel. Israel was established in May 14, 1948. The Declaration of Independence, which established this new state, stipulated that a constitutional assembly would be elected by October 1, 1948. The Constitutional Assembly was supposed to enact a constitution, dissemble, and then general elections were supposed to be held. However, the reality unfolded differently. Due to the War of Independence, the elections to the Constitutional Assembly were postponed. They took place only on January 25th, 1949. The Assembly did not adopt a constitution. Instead, it declared itself to be Israel's first parliament and called itself the Knesset. From 1949 until today, every parliament of Israel bears the name the Knesset. Due to the First Constitutional Assembly's Act, the two bodies in Israel, the Constitutional Assembly and the Knesset, Israel's parliaments, were merged into one body which bears a dual role. Theoretically, the first Knesset could still enact the constitution according to the plan laid down in Israel's Declaration of Independence. However, at this point, political objections were raised. Some members of the Knesset insisted that a constitution was essential in restricting the powers of the government. Others strongly objected to the enactment of the Constitution. In particular, Ben-Gurion, Israel's first Prime Minister, who was exceptionally dominant at the time, objected to the enactment of a Constitution. Ben-Gurion argued that the time was not yet ripe, that the state was still in its early stages of formation, and that the, state that, and that the decision to form a Constitution should be postponed to a later date. As a result of this political disagreement, in 1950, the Knesset adopted a decision known as the Harari decision, which stated that the Knesset would enact a series of basic laws that at some point in the future, together, when the process of enactment would be concluded, would form Israel's constitution. The Harari decision was the result of a political compromise and it created a unique Israeli structure for the enactment of the Constitution in parts. The gradual process was justified as a means of overcoming political disagreements and allowing the Knesset to address first less controversial issues while postponing discussions of issues perceived as more politically charged to a later state. From 1950 to today, the Knesset has been in the ongoing process of enacting basic laws one by one. Fourteen basic laws have been enacted to date. They span a wide range of topics, from the structure of the different branches of the government, to the powers and authorities of each branch, to the protection of human rights. In reality, basic laws operate as constitutional norms. The Supreme Court uses these constitutional norms to perform judicial review of legislation, and in some cases, even to invalidate legislation. However, many questions still remain open. What exactly is the status of these basic laws in this interim stage where the constitutional project has not yet been concluded? What exactly is the relationship between basic laws and regular legislation? What exactly is the process of amendment of basic laws and how should it operate in reality? These and many other questions are still highly controversial and debated in Israel's political and legal sphere. To some, the answer to the question whether Israel has a constitution is both yes and no. The basic laws have a constitutional status and they operate in fact as constitutional norms. However, since the constitutional enterprise in Israel 
has not yet been completed. The Constitution of Israel is still very much a work in progress.